So thank you for uh, being present today for, uh, for our presentation on 5G CNF observability based on eBPF. So I will start by presenting myself. I'm Abdarraouf Kishan. I'm a PhD student in Orange Labs and uh, Paris Saclay University. I specify that uh, this presentation was prepared jointly with uh, Ilan Fajari, who is a research project leader on uh, cloud native network functions orchestration in Orange Labs. Unfortunately, she, uh, she cannot be uh, present today due to uh, health conditions. Okay. So for the plan of this presentation, I will start by uh, presenting the challenges and the objective of our work. Then I will uh, present our uh, eBPF-based solution for the observability of 5G cloud native network functions. Finally, I will uh, describe the, ex the experimentations we did with uh, our solution before concluding the presentation. Okay. So our work is, uh, is mainly related to uh, 5G and the observability of its network functions. So as you see, for the 5G ar architecture is uh, highly distributed. So that means that in order to provide an end-to-end -end functionality, multiple network functions will be involved. And so it is useful to, uh, to uh, it is, it is important to monitor the traffic, the network traffic between these network functions. First, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to ensure a good level of uh, performance by tracking the, for example, the error rate and the request processing, but also to get information about the, uh, the global state of the 5G system, like for example, the number of, uh, of attached users or, and the number of created PDU sessions. So in order to provide functionalities, 5G network functions communicate between, uh, with, with each other using uh, a variety of protocols. So some of them are, are originating from IT, like uh, HTTP, for example, while others are uh, TICO specific and are, are, uh, are defined by 3GPP specifications, like NGAP and PFCP for uh, signaling messages, and uh, GTPU to forward uh, the end user's traffic. Okay, so around this uh, context and challenges, the, the main objective of our work is, the, is to implement a framework for the observability of network traffic between 5G cloud native network functions or 5G CNFs. The idea, the idea behind that is to sniff the traffic, uh, perform protocol analysis, and expose metrics. While designing uh, our solution, we are considering the open, the open source ecosystem. So our solution is designed to be deployed on top of, of the Kubernetes platform, which is, uh, which is uh, used for the orchestration of cloud native network functions in general. Besides, we are leveraging Prometheus and Grafana for collecting, uh, for collecting storing, and visualizing metrics. Finally, we are using uh, eBPF. So eBPF is, uh, is a technology uh, which is originating from, uh, from the Linux kernel, and it allows to run event-driven programs based on, speci on uh, specific events. OK, so now let's, uh, let's uh, give an overview of uh, our solution. So as already mentioned, our solution works on top of Kubernetes platform and allows to monitor the traffic between uh, Kubernetes pods that, are, uh, that belong to a 5G network service. To do so, we, we developed two uh, components. 
First, uh, the controller is, uh, is, uh, is managed by a Kubernetes deployment and is responsible of discovering uh, Kubernetes pods by communicating with the, the IPI server. Secondly, the filter is, uh, is managed by a daemon set, Kubernetes daemon set, and so it is uh, present on each node within the Kubernetes cluster. I will give more details on its role, but all, all you have to know, for instance, is that it is responsible of monitoring the traffic between the discovered pods and exposing metrics. This metrics can be then scrapped by, uh, by Prometheus and display, displayed uh, on the Grafana, on Grafana dashboards. Okay, so now let's uh, focus on, uh, on our filter. So we used uh, use Python to develop it and uh, we are also using the BCC fra framework which is providing a li library uh, allowing to manage eBPF programs. So I will call this our user space program. It will, based on uh, the information provided by the controller, it will attach uh, eBPF programs to network uh, interfaces on the worker node and which are linked to uh, network interfaces on the pod. So I specify that also we can, we can uh, monitor the traffic. Uh, we can monitor uh, pods with multiple network interfaces. These uh, eBPF programs will continuously uh, filter 5G network events and send them again to the user space program. The latter will uh, perform protocol analysis to, ex to extract information depending on, uh, on the protocol, and then will display logs and expose metrics. So to test uh, our solution, we, uh, we, uh, we made use of uh, 5G open source projects, uh, including for free 5GC, and open 5GS for the core network uh, part. And we are also using URN SIM, to, uh, which is a project providing a simulation of 5GG node B and UE to, uh, to trigger, uh, to trigger uh, net, uh, the exchange of network messages. In this slide, we can see uh, examples of metrics that we are exposing with our solution. So the first one is our, in general, uh, the metrics uh, for, uh, for uh, request and response-based protocols. We are tracking the, uh, the total number of requests, the total number of responses, and the response time. These metrics are labeled by uh, the server and client context. So a context include uh, like the, the name of the pod, uh, the name of the interface, the IP address, the name of uh, the deployment the pod belongs to, and other labels which are uh, related to the protocol itself. So uh, like for example, for PFCP, the, the message, the type of the message, and also the cause which uh, represents the state of the response. So, it can be a success or the cause of errors in, of the error in case of errors. For other protocols like uh, GTPU, we are tracking the total number of messages, the total number of uh, bytes, but also the forwarding time. So for the UPF, for example, it acts like a router which forward uh, messages from an interface to another uh, to another one, and so we are tracking this uh, this time. To conclude uh, this presentation, so in this talk, with, uh, I described uh, our uh, solution for, uh, for, uh, for the observability of uh, 5G CNFs based on eBPF. There is an in-progress work to, uh, to test our solution with a large amount of data by triggering the, the simulation of a large number of user equipments and also to handle encrypted uh, traffic. 
mainly the protocol HTTPS. Later, we uh, we aim to to test our solution with the uh, with the data acceleration technologies for the UPF, like for example, when SRUV is used for the UPF, and also to leverage meet the, the exposed metrics and logs using artificial intelligence. Okay, so by the end of this presentation, I would like to thank you for your attention and I'm available for any uh, question or remark.